all right everybody welcome back to another video in the inventory system series um hopefully this will be a quick one uh, i have about an hour to do this before i have to leave so hopefully i can manage so we're just gonna jump straight into it we will keep doing the chest things that we need to do um in the last video i think it was uh we set up it's kind of working uh we have this drop amount widgets and stuff now but this doesn't work because we're still dropping dropping them in the world so we need a way to detect if if we're dropping them into a chest or if we are dropping them back to a chest um and then do the proper action after that um just making sure i'm actually recording all right so it's the item drop amount slot right this one so this widget needs to know if when we press the drop button it needs to know if we're gonna drop it into the world or if we're gonna drop it uh, drop it into a chest or from a chest basically so I'm doing a lot of like bool variables in this system now uh, ideally you probably or you do whatever you want to it works with booleans uh, but you could also do like for all of the booleans you could instead do an enum or something like for the inventory slots for instance uh, these could be an enum if you want to add more stuff to it later anyway um so to storage we do another one on from storage and they should both be editable and exposed mm. I don't know I don't know what my naming convention for this is it seems to be different in all the variables um to storage from storage that's what we need to know so on this inventory drop slot now create the amount widget if we refresh this we have these ones so we need to know when we create this one if it's any one of these so that's what i mean because it can get messy because we have a lot of bool variables instead of just having an enum that's the proper one but we basically want to know let me just think so if if this is the one we have in the inventory right the drop slot so if we drop onto this one we know that it will be so if the current stack is more than one we're dropping into the inventory we know it's the 2a storage so that means that when we press this button we can do a branch here before we do anything else we can do two storage no we need to get to storage so this way we know we're trying to drop it into a storage container so let me just see what we're doing here um So if it is an equipment slot, we unequip, right? Mm. 
Is it the same drop slot? No. Uh, so, I guess it's from here to storage slot. So it's this that we want to do again. Is storage slot. Mm -mm. How does my chest inventory look? I'm confused. Do I have the on drop here? Okay, so it's here that we wanted. Sorry. So on drop on the chest inventory. If it's more than one in the current stack, we're gonna do two storage. And we have this move item to chest already. So So if it's two storage I'm just going to copy this move item to chest um So that means that's what we're going to have if it's two storage I drop the item to handle and we're gonna grab that one I'm a little lost in my own code here it was a while ago so let's see Well, that seems to work, but it's removing all of the items. No, oh, so that worked. We still have. Let me just confirm what is happening here. Five. So that seems to actually be working. Okay, it's just that they need to stack in here as well. Um, that seems to be working, so that is fine. So... In the chest inventory... So we never hear check for stack. So that's what we need to do. That's what we got these. So we're going to go back into our own inventory. I think we should be able to just get this. F check item stack. We're gonna copy this one. And we're gonna actually we're gonna copy that. Oh no, I first need to cop uh, copy the function. F check item stack so copy that one over to here 
We're gonna all the inventory slots we check there. Why is this not working? Owning inventory. Because this is not an inventory, so we can just leave this empty. Should be fine. Mm. So yeah, then we just increment it instead. So now, now we can get this check item stack. Uh, current item in loop. Yeah, maybe we should do a function library with like these common functions that we're using more than one widget so from false check item time should probably do the item type check as well oh well feels like an unnecessary complicated function but let's do it again just to make sure we're doing the same thing yeah i don't think i need to do that here let's just see what happens with this Really ideal. So what is happening here now? update inventory slot uh, that's the wrong function it's just inventory so what is happening here we're clearing the children we're getting the chest we're getting the chest inventory So held item. We are adding it to all inventory slots. It's from the false node, no. It's already a inventory. I'm just gonna grab one of these. So this is not one. So one, I have one. 
and dropping one, so that stacks. If I'm not dropping three, that only creates one. So that is from the drop amount widget. Items to drop should be three in this case. So let me just make sure. This is the three one. We're dropping one, that stacks. And now this should print string three when I do three. It does. So it knows we want to add three items. So that is working. So far so good. Go in here. Amount to drop. Mm. We loop through that. We removed all the items. Then we do server move item to chest. Close just that item. Yeah. So it's because we're not updating. So we need to get this one and plug this one in here as well. because there's the delay between the server and the client update. There we go. So that is now working. Let me just confirm one more time. We drop one, that works fine. We drop two. That gives me one left. There are four there. This should be cleared though. Um, remove from parent. And we remove ourselves from the parent once we press the drop button. Uh, in this case, we could also get the text we could get the drop text if two storage is true we're gonna change it to this one, yeah. Good store. So if I grab a couple of them, yep. And there we go. Now we can store items. We need to do the same thing back though. So this was a fairly quick and efficient video, 20 minutes, that's good for me. So I'm just going to pause for that and then we'll do the same thing in the other way around in the next one, just to break it down into videos to keep them a bit shorter. That's going to be it. Sorry for slow energy, uh, tired as usual, lots to do. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're new. I appreciate all of you. If you want to support me with some extra cash. Uh, I have a Patreon linked in the description. And I wish you all good luck with your game creations. See you in the next one. Bye.